Hello and welcome to No Inches DIY. I'm doing a George Nakashima inspired live edge coffee table. My mate here is cutting it with a chainsaw, not quite long enough, but just like Barbara Streisand said, little by little we meet in the middle. So we got the cut done. It wasn't perfect, but I was able to spend a few hours on the chisel and sander and get it flat. See where I've got this grid pattern here? We had some problems there. The polished Rio bars connecting the two pieces. Now where I've got this grid system here, that's because it's too high. I'm gonna just try to knock those pieces out with a, a chisel before I start working on it. Once I got that knocked out with the chisel, I spent hours on it with the sander. And then for the leg, I had to level it off, so I just sat it on the ground and marked it and sawed it. So I filled the holes with resin. I taped some plastic onto the face side, flipped it upside down, poured resin in through the holes, and this was the result. It wasn't pretty. Now this is one belt that only lasted a few minutes, absolutely clogged up with this horrible resin stuff. I'll take that out. I'll use my old belts on it because it's going to wreck belts, I've since learnt. Well, I'll just keep going. I've just got to take mainly this bit off and a bit of the residue. And I'm going to stay fully masked up when I do this nasty stuff. There was a lot of sanding in this project, hours and hours. Cutting down all that resin, nasty stuff. And then getting the final finish on it, that was also hours on the sander. So I'm just going to give you this one now. So the next part of the job was drilling the holes for the Rio bar pins that hold the base to the top. So I made this frame to keep the base and the top parallel at the right distance. And then I just worked out my alignments for my holes. They don't always, they're not always on the same line because there wasn't anything solid to drill into on some parts. But I got it done. Then the next bit was just measuring my Rio bar lengths, cutting a thread on one end of them and put and welding a bolt thread onto the other end okay so i attempted to cut a thread with a grinder on one end so next time i'll just be buying coach bolts and cutting their threads off and welding them on and i had to tighten them up with a multi-grip which was a bit tricky because i had to find a spot on the thing that wouldn't leave a mark that you could see but i managed to get it done all right, here we are. It's the last day of the George Nakashima inspired coffee table. I've resurfaced this top twice, and finally I've gone with this uh, Cabothane Clear. I, I tried it with varnish, I just didn't get the sheen that I wanted with the brush marks and everything, so I'm going for this. I've already given it one. I've given it a little rough up with some 2000 grit sandpaper and I'll go over it again. Okay, so I ended up putting four or five coats on it. Uh, it was glistening in the sun. I staged it for some photography. So you can feel free to uh, add your bids to the comments. Okay, so I hope the great man George Nakashima approves of this job. I did add some urban industrial elements to it, which are not really George's thing. Here it is all finished with all the paint on it. It looked pretty spectacular. I'm very happy with it. Thanks for watching.